are doing all these things that make me a good person rather than just... The thing is, who said they'll make you a good person? Now, can I tell you the difference is, right? The difference between what we have to offer and what every other religion is really simple. If you wanted to meet God now, you could. Right? That's what I offer. Now, the first thing is, Jesus said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. He said, no one goes to the Father except through me. In other words, Jesus is also the gateway to the Father. Now, I've done this hundreds of times, yeah. where I've challenged people, mm. right? Some have refused, not many, right? Some have accepted that they can have a personal encounter with God here and now. Now, that's what's on offer. Now, to do that, there's no other way to get to him except through Jesus. Right. Now, is that testable? Well, I don't... If, if, if no, anyone... No, no, no. That's why I came up to these guys... Uh, sorry, sorry. Earlier. Is that testable? Because right. when somebody claims... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. No, no, sorry, wait, sorry. Wait, 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 can I, can I make this point? Wait, 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 so, wait, 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 wait. That's why I stopped talking to you because no, you stopped talking only, to me because I was I using I was using I, logical I was points only, no. and you don't like logical points and I'm that's why you, you left logic. the discussion earlier. I'm moving in a supernatural. Supernatural. Now, if anyone wants He's met God apparently. Yeah, I have. So can we test now, you? If you want to meet him as well. But what does it mean meeting God? Have a supernatural see, encounter with God right now. This is why I don't. This is why I'm not a Christian. So you're not ready. It's just it's based on personal experience. If someone comes up to me and tells me I saw God yesterday, how am I gonna believe that? It's like someone someone saying oh, I saw a ghost or ghost caught on camera kind of thing. It, it, to me, I find it very hard to believe because it's all personal that's per it's experience. It's all personal. Not giving the actual facts. Well, this is all from you know, all What's your name? Um, Ines. Ines. Yes. All right. I've met you, have I? Yes. Do you know what? I could tell a thousand people out there that I met Ines. They go, well, who is she? Who is she? Yeah. I mean, we don't know she exists. That the only way I could prove you exist is not by a photograph, right? Yeah. yeah, you can. Not by, no, because you can doubt the photograph. Yeah. Right. But if somebody met you, okay, and they know who you are, and you can verify it by your passport that you're really called in, then there's no doubt in their mind that they've met you, right? Yeah. Now, the same is with God. Now, but the same thing he, with wants, as well. he wants people who believe to then receive him, and then when they believe, they'll receive and they'll see that it's true. Now, if you don't believe, then that's fine. Okay, you won't so have an encounter with God. So let's let's hear his encounter do, with God and what did he actually see about you God. Do, you do, know it's true. What was, and your, then, what was your encounter with God? What was it like? Okay, well, my first encounter with God was when the Spirit of God came literally in me. What did it feel like? like what was, it, how do you know it was I could describe it, although you won't understand it, in one simple way. Yeah. I felt and experienced heaven literally enter into my entire being from head to toe, my mind, my body. I actually experienced heaven in me. Right? Okay. Now that's the moment when God came in me. Of course, what you can experience when God comes in I can't you. say that you're lying. Right? You. I can't yeah, say I that can't, you're lying. I can't say you're lying, yeah. but... Well, no, you can't because I know what happened. It was November yeah, no, 1999. That... Exactly. Right? I remember the exact month. I think it was 23rd November. So, so I've, since that experience, I've had more experiences with God. Yeah. Right? So the thing is, Did he speak to you? Yeah. Did he, what language did he speak to you? Wait, 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 wait. Experience is something that may not be in this world. Now, I'll tell you why experience is important. Right? Go and get a job. Right? Go and get a job. They turn around to you and say, Okay, Ines, what's your name, by the way? Gabriel. Gabriel. Ironically. Yeah. Okay, Gabriel. <laughs> Ines, yeah, I've seen your CV. Uh, yeah, you studied this. What experience have you got? So people are reading the holy book. You see, they're interested oh, in experience. Really being objective. The, the, the these, that can be ascertained from this. So yeah. employers want experience. The problem with experience, it's the problem that I believe that experience has, is sometimes experience is going to be doubted and sensed out. If I'm a, if I'm a patient, right, for example, this is not to be offensive to anyone who's religious or anything. 
if I am, if I have a hallucination, I have no doubt in my mind that I saw a leaf with legs. To me, that happened. You can't tell me that it didn't happen. To you, that's never happened before. Who are we going to believe? Yeah, does it make it objectively well, true? Put it this way, right? Yeah. There's a difference between what you said and meeting the God of the universe. What's the difference? Big. In, in God is available everywhere and he can be met, right? Whereas you can't compare a leaf to God. So yeah, what's the difference? I don't, think, I don't, I don't think God is available right? and can be met. Because I tried to be religious before. Like, I was, ah, I was well, that's why Christian. it didn't work. I was, I was a devout Christian. Religion isn't going to get you to God. No, but I, was, I wasn't religion then what's the in the point of the church. Bible? I wasn't religion yeah. So when a Hindu church. comes along and tells his, his, her experience, how yeah. God came into her life and had a divine presence like heaven, yeah. um, that's true as well, right? I don't know, I've never met one. Right, that's, 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 that's the that's point what I'm that saying. we're trying to say. Well, saying is, I personal experience is your personal that, experience. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you can't bring that you, up. You can't you bring that as a fact or evidence. You've got to make a choice at some point, right? But Which is, can you make a choice is, based on personal experience? Is, is it true or isn't it? Now, let me just tell you, if one thing about religion, right? which I find really, really interesting. Yeah. If you made up a religion, yeah. right, would you make up a religion that was easy to believe or would you make up one that's hard to believe? I don't know, that's a complicated question. Uh, I'm not really? on the spot. <laughs> no. I'd on the, make understandable, up, because I'd, the whole point I'd of make up a really easy religion, totally logical, Easy to understand, make people feel good, right? So that means Hinduism, which is very difficult to understand, cannot be a made-up religion. It has to be true. It's difficult. One moment. The logic that you're employing is here. Uh, uh, allow me. Allow me to explain. It's easy. Allow me to explain. When there are multiple gods and the universe still stands as it is, it's very difficult to understand because if there are more than one gods, the universe will be in chaos and ruin because one say, I want thunder here, I says, I want snow, I want rain, I want sunshine. One of the gods says, I want you to live. Another god says, I don't want you to live. There will be corruption and chaos and ruin if there are more than one gods. Hinduism has more than one gods, or polytheism rather, and yet the universe is functioning quite nicely and smoothly. So that cannot be, according to your logic, a made-up religion. It must be true, because if it was made-up religion, it cannot be that complex and that nonsensical, that illogical. So, are you saying now all those religions, apart from yours, which are very complicated, very complex, very it's illogical, said, very, very irrational, very irrational, other belief system, Do you want to say, Michael? other belief system, other belief system. Are you saying every single belief system other than your, your own is simple to understand and easy to understand? Or is there a belief system which is more complicated than yours? More complex, more irrational, more you know, nonsensical than yours? Is, does, does one exist? Um, I don't think I don't think so. No, I think it's. So you're saying? I think, I think that to make to have a man die nailed on a cross, which was a way to crucify a common criminal, right? Which was the most evil form of execution ever known to mankind. Were there belief system beforehand where God would, became a man or a me, woman? Excuse me. Why would you make there were. a religion? There were. Where your God dies as a criminal? I don't think so. Sir. Look, look. Were there other, so. were there other belief Muhammad system? Never died Excuse me. Listen, listen to. Right? I want, I want to see how so, we understand this logic of yours. I don't think so. Were there religions or religious ideas and belief system before yours, which believe that God? Mine. Do you, do you not have an idea, an ideology about God? My religion. Do you have an ideology about God? An idea, a concept. Yeah. But Good. So, but God other than religion. No, no, I, I, not religion. Like my books. Other than other than your concepts of God. You like one of my books. Thank you. Other than your concepts of God, were there before that concepts of God where God comes down as a form of a creation, like a man or a woman, even maybe virgin birth, even maybe dying to save mankind? Did they exist before your concept? So you don't, basically, what I understand is you seem to believe in lots of different religions. I'm asking you to, to show you the error in your thinking of your logic. You use a logic saying, look, the man-made religion, you would expect it to be simple, not very difficult. What I'm saying is, that means... They are all simple. That, that means... Tell you the commonality that, between all religions? One moment. One They're moment. One thing one, one, one moment. Are you suggesting? that yours is the most complex 
most nonsensical, most irrational belief or idea or concepts on planet Earth today? Yeah, for a natural man it is, yeah. Okay, did you just hear what he said? For a natural man. This gentleman, okay. this gentleman yeah. says his idea, ideology, is the most irrational, most complex, most confusing on planet Earth. Didn't the Bible say God is not the author of confusion? Well, I didn't say it was confusing, he had that. Okay, so let me add, add to that. Is it the most confusing? He's trying to cause problems. Okay, is it the most confusing? He's not interested. Or is there less confusing religion or idea than yours? So can I can I rephrase my question? Not really. Do you have a belief system other than in your own, which is less complex than yours? I command this situation to end right now by What's the authority this? of God. Do you see that? Right? Now he realizes his logic doesn't work, then he has to end the conversation. I do want to Look, end it because do you know, it's do, do you know, do you know, I'll come here to debate. Do you know all I'll the prophets, one person the prophets and messengers of the past, who were appointed by God, yes. they brought a consistent message. And we understand quite logically and rationally why he has to be consistent. Because he can't say to one people, you know what, I am God and I have a mother. And another religion says, you know what, I am God and I have a half brother who is half monkey, half elephant. Whatever, something like this. This is not a consistent message. It will be confusing to the people. You would expect the same one God, true God, true, the same one God, the same one God to consistently reveal the message about his oneness. Yeah? So this oneness message we see quite clearly in the whole of the Old Testament. There is no there is no message about Trinity. And when you see Islam coming along into the scene, destroying those ideas and this, you know, this what are the you know mantras he's using, that None of them makes any sense. The only consistent message is of Islam. Yes. That God I am is... Muslim. I am yeah, yeah. Oh. The only consistent message is Al-Islam. Are you offering me the book and you take it away? Oh, you aren't interested because this book talks about the Trinity. It, it shows how man is made... In it shows Islam. how it's complex, right? Confusing. Or is it simple? No, because if it's simple, it's man-made. If it's complex and confusing, yeah, it's Paul divine. Said that the message of Jesus dying on the cross is foolish to those who are perishing. So the more complex and confusing the religion is, you should... Yeah, the more foolish a concept is, it's more believable, according to your logic. It means that it takes a bigger leap of faith to believe something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so to, you, to you, a religion that doesn't make sense is a divine religion. Okay, so that's religion. I know. No. Okay. You see, the thing is, the concept of God, man, excuse right? me, look, look I'm, I know you're trying to like use mantras and all these touch feelings and that's like, you know, come on. I can perhaps heal you too right now, right? I'll be laying the and regime, so let me start. What I'm now, saying is this. Are you saying, are you saying, my friend, Muhammad got are you saying, the power to heal sickness are you no? saying the concept of God did. doesn't have to make sense? Ciao. Excuse me. Well, what about, what, what, about the, what about the other prophets? Uh, lovely don't you know Muslims don't shake hands and then you want to force their hands to shake? Listen, okay. bye -bye. Um, hello, are you suggesting Jesus can heal the idea or the concept of God has to be confusing to be true? So the gentleman is basically, second time, second time he's just trying to end this conversation. This time it's quite interesting. The gentleman's point is a religion, a way of life, a belief, which doesn't make sense, can only be the true one. A way of, the concept of God, if it makes sense, it cannot be true. So he is admitting, do you agree with him by the way? Do you agree with him that the concept of God that you have doesn't make any sense? The concept of God that I have? Yeah. The concept of God that I have that Jesus Christ is God. No, the concept of God that you have, do you agree it has to make sense to you? Yes. Good. So what this gentleman was saying, as a... It makes sense to me. Yeah, it has to make sense to you. Otherwise, you might believe in a potato god, or a banana god, or a monkey god, or an elephant god, star god, moon god, planet god, well, all sea all god, all sun... All those things could be God for people. Yeah, but as you realize that these things, once you understand it will make no sense to you why because these are all limited finite and dependent so the gentleman that we're discussing coming up with a new branch of christian concept of god it has to be confusing to be believable it has to be confusing to be true it has to be confusing to be divine